Hello, 大家好。Welcome to Giga Cantonese 300. This is our lesson three. In this lesson, you will learn three more characters. Are you ready? Let's go. For this character, we pronounce as bo. Bo. Do you know what is book? It is not a book, but it is foretell. Can tell you what your future is. Let's take a look how to write the word book stroke by stroke. For this word, we just separate into two parts: first and second. Bingo! Finish one character. Let's see what vocabulary are made with the word book. We can form the character 金宝，金宝。It means the definition. 金宝。Let's move to the second characters. This character is a multi-pronunciation character. We can either pronounce as 上 or 上上上 When it is a verb, we pronounce as 上上 We can form the vocabularies as 上山上山 It means to climb up the mountain. 上山 or 上課上課 it means to have lessons. 上課 when it is an adjective, we pronounce as 上上 We can form the vocabularies as 上午上午 it means in the morning. 上午 or we can have 上司上司 it means our boss. 上司 and let's take a look for the stroke. For this one, we will separate into two parts. And first part, it is very similar to the word book, but We change this stroke as horizontal stroke. First stroke is one, and then two. Is it very easy? And for the last character in this lesson, it is ha or ha. For this character, it is also a multi-pronunciation character. When it is a quantifier, we pronounce as ha ha. We can form the vocabulary as 打一下，打一下 It means hit once. When it is an adjective, we pronounce as ha ha. We can form the vocabularies as ha yan ha yan. It means the lower people. So the meaning is servant servant ha yan or ha ti. It means Next time, ha ti, or ha m, ha m. It means in the afternoon. Let's see how to write the word ha or ha. For this vocabulary or this character, it is very very similar to the word book. For the word book. We write like this. For the word ha or ha, we only need to add one stroke on the top. 
finished. And the correct stroke is first one horizontal stroke, and then add the word bop. Thank you for your hard working. Keep practice every day, and you will be a Cantonese expert. See you next lesson. Bye bye.